everyone, I'm Gina. Pancake Day, or Shrove Tuesday, to give it its proper name, is a Tuesday seven weeks before Easter. It is the last day before a period of abstinence, Lent, starts. In this lesson, you're going to learn about why it is commonly known as Pancake Day and why it is a special day in Britain. Do you know where the name Shrove Tuesday comes from and what it means? We'll show you the answer at the end of this video. The traditional meaning of Shrove Tuesday comes from it being the day before Lent begins. It was the last chance for people to eat whatever they chose before they began to fast and was an opportunity for them to eat whatever was left in their pantry or kitchen. We eat pancakes on Shrove Tuesday because they are easy to make and can be filled with any topping. British pancakes are made from thin batter, only a few millimeters thick, that are cooked in a frying pan. Brave chefs will flip their pancakes to ensure they're cooked on both sides, but others will use a spatula. Popular toppings include plain lemon and sugar and sweeter things such as chocolate and fruit. As well as cooking pancakes, there are many games and activities that are held in Britain. The most popular are pancake races. In these races, competitors run a short track, maybe only 100 meters or so, while flipping a pancake in their frying pan. If you drop the pancake, you have to stop and pick it up. The winner is whoever completes the race first with their pancake still intact. There is a famous race held in Oni. Participants must be housewives and wear an apron. The winner is the first to complete a 375 meter course, give their pancake to the church bell ringer and receive a kiss. And now I'll give you the answer to the earlier quiz. Do you know where the name Shrove Tuesday comes from and what it means? Shrove comes from the word shreve, and this means to confess. In the olden days, Shrove Tuesday would be a day of confession for Christians before Lent began. How was this lesson? Did you learn something interesting? Do you eat pancakes in your country? If so, are they the same as British pancakes? Leave us a comment at englishclass101.com and we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.